Sometimes, occasionally, the, mil the military will uh, put some substances into the atmosphere that are detected by our radar, our weather surveillance radar. It's a substance that's called chaff. The chaffs do look similar to the oncoming storm system, but they're actually an indication of an aircraft. We replayed the radar images from 8.40 a.m. Turns out several of those chaffs, or planes, were near the San Diego and Baja areas. Depending on how low and how fast, the planes could have created that sonic boom. Let's talk about military chaff. You may or may not have heard of this. Now, chaff is something that the aircraft are equipped with. It's, it's a spray that they put out in the atmosphere to confuse ground radars. It's a protection uh, to against, say, the radar-guided missiles, okay? So when they're flying these test patterns, they'll chaff the sky, and it shows up on radars. Now, I was looking at my radar wondering, could it have been a flight pattern? Well, here's what happened. I called the National Weather Service, and something interesting here, they confirmed that this right here, this and this, are not rain. That was not rain on our radar. So this is not rain. What is it? Could it have been chaff? Well, we may never know. But that, uh, we've been dealing a lot with some military activity in terms mm -hmm. of chaff anyway, and that's something that I experienced for the first time yesterday. That was a whole lot of fun. And that's where the military just basically dumps uh, some of the, the, the tiny particles of plastic or um, metal, mylar, into the atmosphere. And basically they do this when we do already have weather in the area because it's, it's been around since as long as uh, radar has been around because that's the shot from yesterday. 6 o'clock show. What they do is try to confuse ground-based Doppler radar systems, and as Mark put it so kindly, ground-based meteorologists. And yes, ladies and gentlemen of the armed forces, it worked well. That's a shot of the mylar. That's a shot of the chaff, again, moving through the atmosphere yesterday. As you can see, a very distinctly different pattern from when a storm system would move through. New tonight. Here's a tough question for you. Is the government spraying dangerous chemicals over us from planes? Some people believe there's a sinister top secret mission that's making us sick. CBS Atlanta's Jeff Cherico asked the tough question, is this true or just an overblown conspiracy theory? You've seen them in the sky, those white lines left by planes. Conspiracy theorists call some of them chemtrails. They think they're full of toxins, damaging the environment and our health. It definitely angers me. Some days there's only four, some days there's eight, some days the whole sky is just enveloped in just milky white. From the balcony of her Buckhead condo, Ali Valente gets a clear view of what she believes is a secret government plot that's poisoning us. You look down though and you look at the people just moving along and going about their business and do you feel like... Like, how can you not look up and see what's going on? When Allie began noticing a bunch of white lines in the sky blocking the sun, she searched for answers online. And that's where she found information about a conspiracy called chemtrails. These are literally crimes against uh, uh, humanity. Uh, nature and humanity. Over Skype, I spoke with chemtrail researcher Michael Murphy at his home in California. He produced a documentary about the so-called chemtrail cover-up. He believes there are chemicals in these trails, including aluminum, that are making us sick. We've seen aluminum-related illness go through the roof. Murphy says tests show high levels of these chemicals in our rain and soil. So we're seeing a major increase in these chemicals, but how do we know they are coming from planes. We looked into any other source and we couldn't find one. So why is the government supposedly doing this? Theorists speculate the heavy metals reflect the sun's rays, cooling the earth and combating global warming. So how can you tell the difference between chemtrails and typical plane contrails? A contrail um, dissipates and evaporates pretty quickly. A chemtrail lingers. But Georgia Tech weather researcher Dr. Jim St. John says he doesn't buy the chemtrail theory. He points out that some normally occurring contrails do linger. Contrails can take on different appearances, depend upon different factors. He believes more lines in the sky is due simply to more air traffic. And although the U.S. government says it isn't clouding the skies, one thing is crystal clear. A denial won't be enough to convince a growing number of chemtrail believers. The U.S. government has issued a statement attempting to debunk what it calls the chemtrail hoax. We posted that on our website. Go to CBSAtlanta.com, click on the Tough Questions tab. Now, we know a lot of you have pictures and videos of chemtrails. We want to see them, so send them to us at pics at CBSAtlanta.com. We'll post them on our website. Jeff Cherico, CBS Atlanta News.
We're also talking chemtrails on our Facebook page tonight. We want to know if you think they're real, and if so, why the government is doing it. Go to CBSAtlanta.com. Scroll down to Facebook logo there on the left-hand side and tell us what you think. What the hell is going on? They are extremely concerned because there seems to be something that is happening that is affecting them physically and in some cases even emotionally and psychologically. So there, there is a drastic change in what is happening around us in what, five years, five and a half years? And people have never seen this or experienced this before. Here we go. Just coming outside to see this shit. What is going on in the sky today? What is going on? What is that? No, 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 Look at them. It just looks so disgusting. It looks like it's poisonous that it's coming out the sky. I think it is. There's enough. There's two over there, look, that are actually flying right now. Can you see it that way? Yeah, I know. But the whole cut sky is covered in, in just white stuff that's come out of planes. I don't think it is water vapor. I think it can't be water vapor. Otherwise, it would have disappeared in seconds. This lasts for hours. And it's sort of ominous. Look at the state of that. This is like supposed to be a blue sky, but it's never blue anymore. It's all shit. Yeah, I think most people have noticed chemtrails because it's not natural to have something crisscrossing in your sky and staying around for hours. I think they're a carrier for all kinds of biological and chemical warfare. The other is. Um, what they're calling uh, aerial pharmacopoeia. Please remain on the line for a representative. My help you. I wanted to let you know that there are planes or something spraying some kind of aerosol over Manhattan right now. Do you want to make noise complaints, sir? It actually they're quiet. It's very unusual because there I do see commercial jets and. And they're making noise, but there are several smaller planes spraying something. They've totally clouded up the sky today. I'm wondering if you've gotten some complaints about that so far. Well, I don't see any alert. Um, let me see if I have the service for that. Just give me one moment, sir. So it's not a noise complaint, it's just that you want to find out if there is something going on in Manhattan? So over Queens and Manhattan, and I'm wondering if, I, I mean, should we stay inside or? 
I'm gonna have to place you on hold. Just give me one moment, okay? Thank you.